Hi everyone, this is Makumba Gerard of Edimark. In this video, we are going to look at finding the tube root of any number using Newton Raphson's method. But before we go into that, subscribe please to Edimark such that you can be notified whenever we upload new videos every day so let us uh, get started here and see you there to brute brute of a number n so this here is our guiding question show that the formula based on newton raphson's method for finding a tube root of a number n is this so uh, let's select x a let x be equal to the tube root of number capital n so this very x is equal to capital n power 1 over 3 tubing both sides we shall have x power 3 being equal to capital n then x power 3 minus n equal to 0 then we say let f of x be equal to 0 this means that f of x is as well being equal to x power 3 minus capital N. So from here, we can go ahead to discretize this to get f of xn. f xn is now equal to xn power 3 minus capital N. Based on Newton Raphson's method, please you should be aware of the formula for Newton's Raphson method plus 1 is equal to xn minus f xn divided by f derivative of xn now we have got to get the f derivative of xn now you don't differentiate this no you differentiate a continuous function as this here is a discrete function so f derivative of x is equal to differentiating this we shall have to get 3x squared and f xn f derivative xn now becomes 3x squared subscript n there so we are going to substitute in here this equation of ours or this formula here so right there we shall have xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f xn is here xn power 3 minus capital n everything divided by 3 xn squared so we need to simplify this by getting the lcm here lcm is 3 xn squared 3 xn squared divided by 1 here we get this very one times that we shall have 3 xn power 3 minus 3xn times divided by 3xn squared 3xn squared divided by 3xn squared we get 1 times the whole of that we shall have to get xn power 3 now plus n this will reduce and we shall have 2xn squared power 3 plus 1 plus n divided by 3 xn squared i'm now going to distribute in order to come up with with the formula that they have given us here or what is required of us i'm going to distribute the denominator i'm going to distribute the denominator when we distribute here the denominator we shall have to get 2 x power 3 because this is n here uh, divided by 3 xn squared plus capital n divided by 3 xn squared next i'm going to pull out the common factor in the denominator so i will have to get a third out now i can reduce that and have here xn plus capital n because this is a 2 here, there is a 2 here. Capital N all over Xn squared. So here, small n is equal to 0, 1, 2. And they continue. This here is Xn plus 1. So this is the new the formula for finding the tube root of any number based on the Newton Raphson's method. Next, we are going to use that formula 
this formula here to find the tube root of 28 tube root of 28 so um you have to put in mind that this is the three decimal places three decimal places mm, three decimal places three decimal places means that we are going to have a maximum possible error being equal to a half times 10 power negative 3 and this here is 0 0.0005 that is the maximum possible error our error should not exceed this if it exceeds this we have to continue with the calculation now our capital n is equal to 28 so let's start uh, we start with small n being equal to 0 we shall have x1 being equal to a third into bracket i will have to x naught plus 28 all over x naught squared but what is the x naught we know that tube root tube root of 28 lies between 3 and 4 so from here we can be able to get x naught which is the average of 3 and 4 so x naught is just equal to 3.5 so we are going to put here our x naught to get x1 so we now have x1 being equal to a third into bracket 2 times 3.5 plus we have 28 divided by 3.5 squared so when we compute very well on our calculator x1 is going to be equal to 3.0952 before we continue we have to check whether the error permits us or not so we check on the error error is the magnitude of x1 minus x0 so we shall have 3.0952 minus 3.5 and our error here is equal to 0 0.4048 and this error here is greater than the maximum possible error which is 0 0.0005 this tells us that because the calculated error is greater than the maximum possible error we have got to continue so we now go to when n is equal to 1 previously n was equal to 0 here n is equal to 0 we had this n is equal to 1 let's substitute in here our formula will become x2 being equal to a third into bracket 2x1 plus 28 divided by x1 squared so uh, we have x1 we have calculated the x1 so we are going to substitute in for x1 x1 is the 3.0952 so this here is a third into bracket 3.0952 plus 28 over 3.0952 squared so when we compute very well on our beautiful calculators we are going to get x2 as 3.0377 we have got to check again for the error before we continue so error is equal to the magnitude of 3.0377 minus x1 which is 3.0952 so this here gives us 0 0.0011 still it is greater than 0 0.0005 the maximum possible error this uh, signifies that we must continue okay then we have to now continue to n is equal to 2 when n is equal to 2 we shall have to get x3 being equal to a third into bracket 2x2 plus 28 divided by x2 squared there next we have x2 there we got x2 here so i'm going to substitute there so i have x3 being equal to a third 
into bracket 2 times 3.0 point zero three seven seven plus twenty eight over three point zero three seven seven squared compute very well on the calculator we get x three as three point zero three six six again and again we have to check the error which tells us whether to continue or we stop this here is x3 so x3 sorry so our error is now equal to the magnitude of x3 which is 3.0366 minus 3.0377 so this here is still equal to 0 0.0011 still greater than 0 0.0005 we have to continue to when n is equal to 3 so when n is equal to 3 we shall have x4 being equal to a third into bracket 2x3 plus 28 divided by x3 squared putting it there we shall have x4 being equal to a third into bracket 2 times x3 which is 3.3.060366 plus 28 all over 3.0366 and squared there so when we compute there very well we are still going to get x4 x4 which is uh, 3.0 366 so our error is going to be equal to zero when you get this minus that this implies that this tube root so here this error is less than first of all 0 0.0005 can see there so because the calculated the error is less than the maximum possible error then we make a conclusion about the tube root so therefore the tube root the tube root of 28 is they need this to three decimal places 3.037 these are three decimal places and that's why where we stop with uh, part a now you are going to complete my dear viewer you are going to complete part b and part c yes you are going to complete part b and part c then thereafter i have got try out questions for you but you are going to apply the knowledge which we have here so you are going to find the formula for the fourth root and the fifth root and the questions are so we are going to try this set of questions here this here is about the fourth root and this here is about the fifth root please i beg that you be honest enough to move with me so once again i want to thank you for being part of my audience and do not forget to subscribe to Edumar because we are going to be availing more and more videos of mathematics here so once again i want to thank you for being part of my good audience keep on doing math because it is only through doing math that we learn math thank you very much for attending please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to tell a friend about this channel such that they can also subscribe and they receive uh, these videos here god bless you